Hey gang, welcome back to more adventures with members of the Florida Powerboat Club and it's uh, Stu Jones with our producer Ryan McCoy here in the Pompano Beach Man Cave. It's our studio and that's where we make these YouTube videos for the Florida Powerboat Club channel. And right now we are rounding out the summer months, moving into the fall of 23 with our annual Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. Uh, been running now 32 years. Can you believe that? That's right guys, the Emerald Coast Poker Run started in 1993 and it's had a lot of transitions over the years but we're happy now to be back in Destin, Florida uh, for this big event which kicks off the fall season uh, recently moved from August to September and we have got a big series coming to you now with almost 100 registered teams and four episodes here with feature coverage so before we get started let's thank our sponsors our presenting sponsor for the FPC 2023 series of events is Mercury Racing celebrating 50 years of wide open and by these sponsors in alphabetical order Big Thunder Marine, Blackwater Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, Concept Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, Fountain Power Boats, Midnight Express Boats, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, SD Marine Group Isla Morada, and by Statement Marine. And we have got about a four day agenda here starting on Thursday. So today's gonna to be a fun run uh, as the early arrivals get into town now with Cameron Bailey on his Nortec 390 Sport. We're gonna ride on board as our video crew, Walt and Bryson are gonna get a cool ride on this open center console uh, powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. Guys, doesn't get much better than this. Uh, a beautiful boat and a lot of these Nortec 390s in the Florida Powerboat Club but really just an ideal platform to be out on the fun run today because they're gonna catch video of all these boats as we go out on Chalk to Hatchie Bay. Uh, there's the Flight 1130 cigarette coming off of an eight poker run summer. That's right, guys, you watched that summer tour. Well, this is number eight of that 8,000 mile road trip. We got son Tyler on board, my wife Jackie, as we go up for a little ride. And there's a Polini Cat with a pair of Mercury Racing 400Rs. And I guess I could say that this is truly a cat event, cat friendly event because of all the calm water. Remember, most of this course will be in the protected bay waters, Choctahatchee Bay and the Intracoastal. So a lot of the guys with the cats are really loving this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event. And the teams coming from far and wide, making this really an international event. There's proof that's Karsten Melcher, Team Germany. Uh, his crew all the way from Germany with this 38 foot Donzi, regulars with the club, but it's the first time here on this Emerald Coast event. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening today on this Thursday afternoon fun run. If you're looking off in the background, yes indeed, that is Crab Island. Uh, a very central uh, meeting point now for all the boats. Most of us just came out of Destin Harbor, or we may have come down from Fort Walton Beach, but. Of course, Crab Island is kind of in the middle of everything, so it's a perfect rendezvous location. And the goal here today is really just take everybody for a little shakedown trip, show some of them where the checkpoints are today. And it looks like Cameron's crew are settled in for a fun ride today, not even losing their hat. That's probably because he's keeping the speed somewhere around 50, 55. That's about hat blow off speed. <laughs> And it looks like our video guy Bryson uh, lost his hat already and he is pumped up for the ride. Uh, happy to be here joining us for the weekend. Looks kind of like one of those warriors from Game of Thrones. You know the guy I'm talking about? And it's gonna be a first time for Isaac Burgos and his crew all the way from Miami with this brand new concept 4400. And our first stop on this little shakedown trip is to George's Marina up in Shalimar and uh, kind of a landmark location for this poker run because I can remember way back in the 90s when it was named Shalimar Marina, they were a big part of the poker run. And today with new ownership, uh, they are still very much a part of this event as a checkpoint sponsor. Now here's a sneak peek of our course map and just kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing today. And that is to get up on the north side of Choctahatchee Bay. Okay guys, let's take a minute uh, before we head east on the course. I wanna show you something that came up just recently. And a gentleman from a real estate agency in Fort Walton Beach uh, reached out to me and told me about this incredible waterfront home on Yacht Club Drive in Fort Walton Beach and sent me the listing and I couldn't believe this amazing home with really an impressive waterfront to begin with. And of course, that's what all interests us. But you really have to check out this massive home. I don't think I've seen anything quite like it. 
and priced at just over six million dollars if you compare it to like say south florida miami fort lauderdale boca raton i think this house is a great value but just uh, look at this video that they shared with me. I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to play it throughout the, the next two or three shows here because this is something that is worth a second look. We just left Shalimar, now we're gonna head over on an eastbound direction, passing Eglin Air Force Base, which will be on our left uh, along the shoreline, and then into uh, Boggy Bayou, uh, which brings us to the town of Niceville. That's gonna be our next checkpoint here now. We're at Wharf 850. It's a very popular restaurant in this area. They got a huge dock out front, so it's gonna be a poker card checkpoint, as well as one of our lunch stops for the poker run. And that is one of the reasons I want uh, some of our club members, especially our newcomers, to at least drive their boats into these little bayous and drop some breadcrumbs on their Garmin. So it makes it a little easier for them on the actual poker run day because they're kind of hard to spot. So in addition to just getting the lay of the land, uh, just a good shakedown for the boat, uh, maybe hit the gas dock and top up so we're ready for the front run on Friday. Now another point about these bayous is that they tend to be kind of narrow, especially at the entrances. So this is also a good way for everybody to at least have a good appreciation of where they're going. But these bayous are where there's a lot of boat traffic on a daily basis, especially on a Saturday morning during the poker run. So by actually putting a set of eyes on this bayou and seeing the shoreline and some of the, a lot of the docks and the residential neighborhoods here, so they can get a better understanding of what to expect on Saturday morning's poker run. Up to speed now here with Stephen Doomer and his 38-foot cigarette, Loose Cannon. He's a regular on these events, attending the Emerald Coast event every year, Homeport, Biloxi, Mississippi. And now we have traveled to the far eastern end of Choctahatchee Bay to Sandestin, where we find the Baytown Wharf. This again has been a popular checkpoint and one of the reasons is that it gives us a chance to really open the boats up and kind of spread our wings and, uh, and really get some speed heading across these open bay waters. Of course we'll arrive here at Baytown Wharf and rather than to go right into the marina and pick a cart up off the dock, it has been our custom over the recent few years to have a big yacht positioned here uh, on an anchor and we can pick up a card and then essentially just turn the boats around and head back westbound on the Bay Area and continue the course westbound to Fort Walton Beach and beyond. But we won't be traveling beyond today. That's because we're right here at the Mid Bay Bridge and they call it that for a reason. It basically separates Choctahatchee Bay right down the middle, crossing from the north side to the south side, landing in Destin right at the legendary marina. And there she is in all her glory, the biggest marina in the area storage for 850 boats on racks, as well as all kinds of in-water docking, which is ideal for special events like this big poker run every year. Today's plan is to really get situated and uh, tied up, rafted up, whatever it takes. A lot of staff here helping us today, but it is a lunch run, so we're gonna be ending up at Lulu's, which is the on-property restaurant, which provides us with a, a great atmosphere to get all of our participants together for the very first time. Uh, the menu is fantastic, the service is superb, and we are just happy to be here in the Emerald Coast celebrating this annual event, which has, to me, amazingly reached 32 years. It was 1993 when it first started, and it was 1999 when the Florida Powerboat Club arrived here 
uh, to get involved in the event. And from then on, it has just been a wild ride all the way. And now, since we are getting all of these fabulous shots of Legendary Marina from the drone as all of the teams arrive, uh, let us first of all thank Legendary Marina for their involvement in this event uh, for all these years, and particularly because they are really a major staging facility for us, providing a wide range of services that begin with arrival and staging, uh, which means really just uh, disconnecting the truck from the trailer for those of us who have traveled in for several hundred miles and allowing the team at Legendary to take over from there. And that means getting your boat lifted and into the water. Then of course, they're gonna park your trailer back in one of their lots, very safe and secure for the entire weekend. And from that point on, you've got all the services you need. You've got fuel docks here that provide 90 rec or non-ethanol fuel, as well as 93 octane, which is a requirement for some of these Mercury racing engines. There's the money shot as far as establishing uh, what this facility looks like. The restaurant off to the left and in the center, their sales center. And then of course that giant barn, custom painted with the whales uh, by the famous uh, artist Wyland uh, several years ago. And from the top, it's a giant star spangled banner. You can be seen from five miles high. And now a closer look at Lulu's, which is our headquarter restaurant for today's uh, first event, the Thursday Fun Run. And uh, a lot of our club members already inside the restaurant getting their lunch. And we've, we've done this event now about three years in a row and has worked out just great. The staff is ready, the food is awesome, and the atmosphere with all these boats on display, well, it doesn't get much better than that. Lulu's for lunch uh, today, this Thursday, kicking things off day one of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. Of course, Destin, a big part of that event, but we're gonna be seeing a lot of the waterways. We made it all to Lulu's. We had about 35 boats on the run all together. Uh, now, out of the 95 or 96 that we have registered, that's only about one third of the fleet. That's because we still got a lot of people rolling in today and we're right here at Legendary Marina. And that's why we're still seeing a lot of boats come in today getting their staging done here, of course, legendary, putting them in the water, giving them truck and trailer parking so they can leave the vehicle here. Some of them are just gonna disconnect and use the truck to go back and forth to the hotel. The weather's turned out fantastic. The winds are light. The temperatures are mild or moderate. You know, we're into the low 80s here today. And if we can keep those temperatures and keep that weather for Friday and for Saturday and through to Sunday, that's gonna give it most of us about four days of boating. So kicking things off here with Emerald Coast guys, couldn't get much better than this with the members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Let's go. Well, I mentioned earlier in the episode that there's a lot of teams that came a long distance to be here. Well, here's a team that we all know very well and they didn't have to travel very far. This is Team Black Diamond, 52 foot MTI powered by Mercury Racing 1550s. Uh, Derek Walkup and his crew, one of three boats that are gonna be registered with Team Black Diamond and they are a local team. While they hail from Oklahoma, but they have a home here in Destin, Florida, and this is where they manage the fleet. Uh, two of them MTIs, the 34 MTI, as well as this 52, and of course that big giant cigarette, the 59 Toronto, the first ever of the new 59 Toronto series built about three and a half, four years ago. So you can imagine just the amount of logistics that take place because whenever Derek and his crew go to a Florida Powerboat Club poker run, all three of these boats will arrive, so they have to get on the road. Uh, they've got an amazing fleet and a support staff that is, um, among others, you know, the best in the business, and I've known a lot of these guys over the years. And there is the mothership of the Poker Run fleet, the Six Carat, which is a 59-foot cigarette Tirana, powered by six Mercury Racing 450Rs. We want to thank Mr. Walkup and his entire crew for their support over the years. They've been in the club for 15 years. And here's another longtime loyal supporter of this event, 
This is Michael Bull from uh, the Atlanta, Georgia area in his uh, 30-foot Eliminator cat. Twin 700s in this cat, but uh, it sounds like a lot of power. But remember, we're here on these nice, calm, protected waters of Choctahatchee Bay. And I think that's why Michael and a lot of the other cat owners really appreciate coming out here to this Emerald Coast event every year. And it's nice to see another Jones boy uh, joining us for the run. This is Anthony Jones, no relation, of course, to me, but Team Crushing It is a 2006 47-foot Fountain Lightning. It's powered by Triple Mercury 496 Mag HOs, giving it a total of about 1,275 horsepower, which might seem a little light for a big 47-foot V-bottom, but believe it or not, this fountain with its step bottom is a great performing hull that'll run all day long at 65 to 70 miles per hour. Anthony trailered the boat 600 miles one way, all the way from Kentucky. And now we're catching up with Dan Krzyzewski in his Nortec 390 Sport, Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. His second event this year, he joined us for the Bahamas run all the way to Nassau back in June. And if it wasn't for the Florida Powerwood Club, you might not see so many of these Concept 4400s showing up. Isaac Burgess doing his first Emerald Coast event in his brand new 4400 powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. What a beautiful center console. And imagine that, another brand new Concept 4400. This one just completed at the factory in Miami and piloted by Concept co-owner Eric Avila uh, and his family, of course, have been big supporters of the club. What a beautiful ride it is. A very sharp contrast to the boat that we just saw with multiple colors and graphics. A very simple color combo with the solid gray exterior and the tan interior. I think it looks great. And another very popular builder from Miami, of course, we all know Midnight Express, and we've got the company owner on board, Eric Glazer, with this big Solstice model, 43, powered by five Mercury Racing 500Rs. So this is clearly a factory flagship model because remember the 500Rs were just launched back in June at Mercury Racing's unveiling in Charleston, South Carolina. And it's another Midnight Express owner, but that boat is being built right now. Instead, David Lansman has this 42 MTI Cat. It's powered by Big Mercury Racing 1350s. I'm sure we're going to see this boat run. And talking about MTIs that can really run, well, here's almost a sister ship uh, to that 42. Is this 44 MTI Team Shark Rider owned by Frank Bolte. Another international entry, he came all the way from France to join us. This 44 has 1350s that have been modified uh, to somewhere around 1800 horsepower aside, making this a 180 mile plus MTI cat. And a regular entry on a lot of Florida Powerboat Club events. And it was a flawless launch from the legendary team here with the big forklift uh, as the MTI gets in the water and ready to get out for its little shakedown run here on Thursday afternoon in preparation for this weekend's poker run. And one more cool shot as we say farewell of this one by Tyler Jones and taking a close look inside at that huge legendary marina facility. Let's thank everybody at Legendary for a great one-stop staging facility here in Destin, Florida. And of course to the team at Lulu's for hosting our first lunch for the poker run. And just a hop, skip and a jump uh, away to the west as we pass through Crab Island and now into Destin Harbor. Uh, this landmark uh, Noriego Point will be off to your starboard side as you enter Destin Harbor. And of course, uh, a landmark stopover for everyone who wants to put the nose of the boat up in a soft sand. And of course, the Emerald Coast is known for its beautiful white sand. And here's a good example of what you can expect when you visit this area. On Friday and on Saturday afternoon, of course, Noriego Point will be jammed up with power boats. You'll be lucky if you can even find a spot. Most of this point was recently rebuilt after several years of erosion from the East Pass, but now it provides protection 
to all the docks at uh, Harbor Walk Village, Emerald Grand, as well as all of the neighboring uh, marinas and restaurants in Destin Harbor. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps up our Thursday fun run. But, of course, the party is never over with the Florida Powerboat Club because we're going to shift gears into the evening festivities with the Miss Powerboat Week contest hosted at Margaritaville and sponsored by club member Paul Bertusi and Team Beer Money. And there is the lovely Miss Amber, who is our contest coordinator and has been for as long as I can remember. And the format, once again, is to have a full table of judges. And they've all made a donation uh, for this privilege. Uh, that, of course, will go to our local charity, Kids on the Coast. And we have got a beautiful lineup of uh, 10 lovely ladies tonight. Many of them you have seen before, like the Miss Shelby. And I believe that she is a former winner here of this contest uh, just a few years back. And some newcomers, uh, starting with uh, Miss Kiki, first time here for the Miss Powerboat Week contest. Followed by Alessandra at age 25, also her first time here at the Miss Powerboat Week contest. And I just can't believe where Amber finds all these beautiful girls to join us. And many of us have established our favorites over the years. And of course, one of mine is the beautiful Miss Sandra, who's been here before. She started out as a brunette just a few years ago. But I got to say, Sandra, I think the blonde thing is working for you. And adding to our women of color, the lovely Miss Deja. And she is sporting a very shiny cocktail dress and also a newcomer to this event for the very first time. She's gonna be joining us for the weekend and she's gonna be our card girl number one here right off the docks at Harbor Walk Village. And another repeat visit from the beautiful Miss Sage who came all the way from Daytona Beach, Florida to join us once again. She's been a winner here and she's been a winner also at Orange Beach and that is easy to see why. And another newcomer, uh, her very first time here on the stage at the Miss Powerboat Week is the lovely Miss Shay, who's all the way from Kentucky. And I don't know how she manages to walk so smoothly in those giant heels. And another one of our very popular local girls, it is Miss Chanel. We haven't seen her for a few years. She hails from Pensacola, Florida, and she's always been a big hit at these Emerald Coast bikini contests. And our youngest contestant uh, here on the event is Colby. Her very first appearance at this contest, let's give her a special welcome. And rounding out our 10th contestant here is the beautiful Miss Jasmine, who has been a regular contestant in the past, both here at the Emerald Coast event, as well as Orange Beach, Alabama. And you've seen her in the pages of our Power Boating in Paradise magazine, as well as our FPC Power Boat calendar. Well, here's the lineup, guys, uh, number one through 10. A beautiful lineup of uh, wonderful ladies who, some of them are just competing here, but many of them staying for the entire weekend to help out with the poker run. Remember that the next round is going to be Black Bikini, and we are going to save that for our next episode here with feature coverage of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week, so you guys have something to look forward to on our next show. Well, guys, we have seen a lot of action already in this uh, first episode. Now, uh, closing in on the final segment of the show, I know what you guys want to really see, and that's some high-speed aerial fun. So we have fast-forwarded to Friday morning, and we've got the photo and video crew flying with Timberview helicopters from the Destin Airport. Look at how beautiful it is again now. This is a great way to start a poker run. Absolutely fantastic fall weather. And remember, we did move those dates about four years ago, and everyone seems to be loving this uh, September weekend. As we catch up with Brant Foos on this 32-foot Sunsation, a great-looking boat with a pair of Mercury Racing 400Rs. And it's a show that we're very familiar with now. It's the Don and Don Show in uh, Team Dirty Little Secrets. Another concept 4400, this one powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. And it's another big center console. This time, a first time we've seen this Adrenaline 47 Reaper here on the Emerald Coast event. This one powered by 5 Mercury Racing 450Rs. And they have had a busy year already. They joined us for the Bahamas Poker Run back in June. And the Laytons are making this a family affair as they travel to poker runs around the country. 
and it's a bit of a coming out party for Isaac Burgos and his crew on this brand new Concept 4400. Once again, also powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs. Color matched cowlings to the graphics on the side of the boat. This is one of the most beautiful Concept 4400s to come out of the factory in Miami. And who would have thought that this boat would travel 650 miles be all the way up here at the Emerald Coast Power Boat Week. Well, that's what's happening, guys. Everyone is discovering the Florida Panhandle through this event. And of course, it's another Concept 4400. I think it's a factory rally for this team today. Octavio and Karen Valdivia from Georgia, and they have a second home in Pensacola here so they can enjoy these beautiful waterways. And there's the money shot, guys. Uh, Team Awesome one off to the left, riding with the new factory entry, Erica Vila at the helm of this brand new 4400 with the Nardo gray exterior along with the tan interior and the sea deck. It's a great combination. Really, I think a sharp contrast to all of the multicolor paint designs that we've seen coming out of the Concept Factory in Miami over recent years. So a big thumbs up to Team Concept for putting on such a great show here at this Emerald Coast event. I think it's the strongest showing for the brand uh, since they've started coming up here a few years back. And we got to thank them for their continued support of Florida Powerboat Club. So let's just take a moment as the helicopter pulls wide here on this uh, midway point in our run today. We're headed from Destin to Navarre Beach, which is the home of Juana's Pagodas, a very popular waterfront uh, beach stopover and playground for all boaters in this area. It's about 25 miles uh, one way from the Fort Walton Bridge, uh, the Brooks Bridge, uh, to Juana's, and I think that makes for a great ride for everybody on these calm, protected waters. So that's our destination for today. Round trip, it's about 50 plus miles for all the boats, and uh, there's a lot of open water, so these cats get a chance to open things up, push the throttles, and really enjoy the performance of their boats. And I can't help but notice the amazing variety of our poker run fleet from center consoles to outboard cats to high performance V bottoms. And speaking of old school high performance V bottoms, uh, I'm still loving my cigarette 38 Top Gun, now powered by Mercury Racing 565s. And at the tail end of our summer tour, 2023, uh, rounding out uh, eight events uh, in eight states and about 8,000 miles on the road. A lot of help from a lot of our transportation affiliates, including Palmetto Yacht Management. And we have logged over 150 hours of trouble-free operation with these Mercury Racing 565s. And you're going to see a lot of teams from Georgia here on this run every year. This time it's Russell and Christina Kirkland. They've been here before with this 2022 34 Sensation CCX. And now for something completely different, <laughs> a 50-foot hustler, Michael McClellan. And this one powered by Triple Ilmore V10. So that makes it truly unique in uh, so many ways. One of very few 50 hustlers that are still on the poker run circuit, but probably the only one with Ilmore V10s uh, under the engine hatches. And for Michael, it's a really big step from his previous boat, which was a 37-foot active Thunder. And now let's say hi to Chris Blackwell, again, saluting the old school offshore V-bottom with this 2000 model year Fastec 382. It's got rebuilt 500 EFIs, new cockpit upholstery, and it was a two year project. So glad to see Chris and the gang back here with FPC at the Emerald Coast. And take a very close look at this AMG cigarette. Uh, Jerry Swanson and his crew, 41 foot center console. And looking for those outboards, they don't exist. That's because it's powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. A very unique model that they built very few of. This one did a speed record of 105 miles per hour at the Lotto shootout just a few years earlier. Now let's welcome uh, a two-man team, Cody Bullington, the owner of this center console fountain, as well as Neil Inman, uh, who's been here before on these events. It's a brand new 2023 model, 32NX, powered by twin 400 Mercury outboards. 
The team trailered the boat 350 miles to join us here at the Emerald Coast event. Craig Collinson hails from Canada, but he keeps the boat year round in the Tampa Bay area. They've done a bunch of poker runs with us, but it's their very first time all the way up here in Destin for the Emerald Coast event. This is a 35 foot statement. It's powered by Triple Mercury Racing 400Rs and they won best paint and graphics at the Tampa Poker Run. And speaking of Tampa, well, it's Aaron Swafford uh, from the St. Petersburg area. He manages the Harborage Marina there and is very active with us on the Tampa Bay Poker Run. This is a 2021 Fountain 38 TE, that's tournament edition. Powered by Quad Mercury 400 Verados. They've been all over the place with this boat. They recently attended Lotto where they won their class in the shootout. Well, we wanted to share you, with you that audio of those Mercury Racing 700s. This is Vince and Rachel Odo from Texas in their Cigarette 42X. It's a new boat to them, and we're going to see a lot more in our next episode. And it's another cigarette, this time a 39 GTS. Mark and Brenda Jacobs from Maryland, Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. A very active couple, uh, as well as their kids, on these poker runs with FPC. But it is their very first time here with the cigarette up on the Emerald Coast event. And they said that they absolutely loved it up here. When I think back 15 or 20 years on this event, I have to say that cigarette has really expanded their presence here up on the Florida Panhandle. There's a total of seven cigarettes on the Emerald Coast roster. And we continue with a beautiful day here heading to Navarre as we now catch up with Roger and Pam Anderson, another one of our teams from Texas and another team in a Nortec high performance center console. This is a 390 Sport model powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs. Very active couple on the FPC scene. They go to so many events and they absolutely love the Florida power boating lifestyle. And uh, now catching up with John and Connie Fami in their 34-foot Sensation CCX. They hail from Georgia, but they just passed their own dock because they've got a second home here in Mariesta, Florida, right along these waterways. A little more cat play with Andy Eck from Missouri in his 34-foot Polini Cat. He's running uh, alongside Chad Havens all the way from Texas in this big 40-foot skater Team Savage, powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. He loves coming up to these uh, panhandle events. He's joined us for Emerald Coast multiple times as well as Orange Beach, Alabama. And it's been a great showing for this first episode featuring the 32nd annual Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event. And we have got plenty more to show you guys as we continue the Friday fun run and get back to the Saturday poker run in the upcoming shows. You don't want to miss any of those episodes, guys, because it's all about boats and bikinis and big horsepower. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming poker run events as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page and you guys know who you are and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.